see any armadillos. No one sees armadillos. What's up, buddy? Got him. Guess I'm not going home empty handed. There's a rabbit I gotta get in there. Great. There's a ton of rabbits in here. There he is. Perfect headshot, looks like. Yep. Perfect. Perfect little eater right there, y'all. There was a second one I saw earlier, but couldn't get to him. See, that way it doesn't spoil any of the meat if you get him a headshot. It's kind of looks grosser, I guess you could say, but at the same time. Because I cut a little tear inside of his leg there. And so I'm able to carry the bunny on my hip like that on my belt because if you tear right before his tendon, you can make a little hole and put his other foot through it. So that way you can carry him. You can actually stack him doing that. Um, just kind of a cool little tip for y'all. There, it's oh. hard now. All right. So here's the rabbit that I got from earlier, y'all. Got Dean filming for me. And uh, it's a little wet just because I had it on ice and some of the ice melt on the way home. But um, I've only done this a couple times, but... It's not too hard of a process, so you take your rabbit. I take the back here and kind of where it has an excess skin, and I'll kind of cut into it. Like here, on the ground. Just like that little something to cut into. I'm not really sharpen my knife too well. Just cut to the back. Until I can get that skin apart. So once I get it apart, then I start to tear it at each end, and then I undress it. Work the skin all the way off. Pull it all apart. When you get to the uh, butt over here, you can kind of cut that off and get out the guts in a second. So, it'll come off. The more you work with it, you should undress just like that. Other leg here, good enough. Break off those leggings in a second, and then for the head here, same thing. Just gonna undress it. What's great about rabbit is when you do that, you can usually get most of the fur from not being on it all the way. Take its underside here. The belly all the way up to the head. See, all just comes out nice and neat. That one was a perfect shot placement though because it just got See, I got one in the gut there, it looks like, but for the most part, it's all in the head that I shot him, which is perfect. 
And once you do that, you cut off his head. So I'm not going to eat that part. I'm going to obviously wash the meat off. So all the skin's off on him. And now it just kind of comes to the guts. So you can see here, well, I shot it kind of in the back, so I had to clean up some meat there. But um, in total, this is kind of what it's going to look like, y'all. You can see that the uh, fur is off it, all the guts are out. One thing I didn't show is uh, split the pelvis here so you can take out the anus and um, all the other guts in there. But um, yeah, the main meats that you're going to have is you got the back legs here. You got like your back straps, I guess you can call them, on the rabbit. And then like your front legs got some. So I'm going to cook this thing whole and uh, we'll see how it turns out. But uh, yeah, that's how you basically skin a rabbit and prepare it for a meal. That's all I got for y'all.